Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your weekly reading for October 3rd through October 9th of 2016. Yay! I love October. It is my favorite month of the year. It is my birthday month. Yay! Shout out to all you October babies, all you Scorpios out there. Um, you know, we have Samhain. I just... I feel the most alive at this time of year, so I'm very, very excited. I hope you all are too. Um, first, I just want to take a time out to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you new subscribers to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Maven Unmasked. I hope you all love it as much as I do. Feel free to share um, my videos. Feel free to comment. Um, I try to get back to everyone who leaves me a comment if I can, so it would be great to connect with you all. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into our weekly reading. Um, I will let you know that um, I am going to pre-record the reading for the following week from the um, 10th of October um, to, I guess that's the 16th of October, um, and load that this Tuesday. Um, I think that's the 4th. Um, so you all will have it because I will be away so that way you all will already have the video for next week up and ready for you all to watch when you're ready. So now I'm just going to take some time to call in your angels, call in your guides, call in your loved ones in spirit. I call upon your ancestors to give us a message for our best and our highest good this week. Give us some high vibe guidance. Okay, there's one. What do we need to know? How can we attain our goals? What's in store for us this beautiful, beautiful first full week of October? What is the energy surrounding us? Just what's going on? Okay, there's another one. And let's just get... Okay, there we go. Got a bunch. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we have six cards. Okay. So firstly, um, I'm, oh, by the way, I don't know if I said, I'm using the Star Child Tarot um, Akashic Edition this week. Sorry, you guys. In the zone. Okay. So first we have the Knight of Crystals. And the Knight of Crystals, he's a mover and a shaker, but he just moves a little bit um, more slow than, let's say, the Knight of Wands, for instance, or the Knight of Swords, who's really, really charging and moving ahead. So to me, this is totally, we are taking our time and we are focusing our energy. If you look closely at the card, it's like he's forming his own ball of energy, his own chi ball. And he's really like, he has, you know, done some breath work and is really just focusing and putting all of his energy into, you know, whatever his goal is or whatever his effort is um, that he's trying to accomplish and really concentrate his energy, really, really focus it so that when it's ready to launch, you know, out into the universe, it's going to disperse and hit its mark and go where it needs to go. Um, I will say that um, Friday, September 30th and or October 1st, depending on where you are, we have that new moon energy surrounding us. And that is the perfect way to set your intention, to concentrate your energy, to um, to really just harness it and focus it and make it yours, to shape it, to mold it, you know, to really, you know, it's like Play-Doh. How do you, what do you want to build? What do you want to shape? Um, what are you trying to create? But just be aware that it takes time to build up that energy. You really have to you know, take a step back and really breathe and really think and really focus your energy. So just be mindful, it'll take some time. And I say that because we have the Ten of Cups reversed next to it as well. And the Ten of Cups is about um, happiness. It's about um, also completion of a cycle. It's getting ready to turn over into the Ace of Cups, so a new cycle will be starting. Um, I think some of us may be a little upset that it's going to take us, you know, some time to focus this energy. And maybe that's what this Ten of Cups reversed is about. 
Um, but just know that any card that's reversed, you can turn it up right. So I really feel like this is a message to just be patient and really just continue to focus your energy. When it is time for it to launch, it will, and it will hit its mark, and then this Ten of Cups will be upright. Um, I also feel like this is saying find emotional support from your friends at this time, um, from people who are very significant in your life, who have your back. Um, and trust that if you're stressed out right now, if you have a lot going on, your emotions are kind of all over the place, your friends and your family may really be able to help ground you. Um, so just be open mind, have an open mind about that. And um, try not to snap at them if you're feeling a little bit testy um, because you're a little bit impatient with what's going on. So um, to me, this is just remember to be thankful, remember to have gratitude and that it will take time, but things will work out the way it's supposed to. Just be patient. Then we have the Six of Wands. So yes, things will work out if we just be patient. If we try and turn that Ten of Cups upright. Um, everything is in alignment. You know, things are, are slowly coming together. Um, and I feel like this is just a time to celebrate, to, you know, Focus on the present and celebrate your present accomplishments, what you have going on right now. Um, and just focus on that. Focus on taking action. What can you do to make this Ten of Cups upright? What positive action can you take? Um, to me, this is really that victory is ours this week. Yay! Victory is totally ours. Um, but I also think it's important to reflect on the journey to reflect on the journey and you know what is that final push what is that final step that final action you need to achieve this um and i also feel this very much this is about staying in balance and i also say that because we have the four of crystals so i feel that this week Yes, we may be celebrating, we may have some good things coming our way, but don't be so focused on them that you can't, you, you're not making room for anything else that's positive to come your way, that you stop looking for opportunity. Um, but I definitely feel that this is about balance, and typically the Four of Crystals or the Four of Pentacles is, you know, you're... You're holding on so tightly to things that you can't open your hands to receive something new. And it kind of feels like that in a way, but it, at the same time, it feels more about balance and balancing your energy. That's what I'm really feeling, like working with your chakras and balancing your energy this week um, and making sure that we're not holding on to anything that needs to be released and not letting ego come into play. This also feels like, yes, we may have this victory, but don't allow ego to block you from new blessings that may try to, may be trying to make their way to you. Um, and, you know, that way you don't turn off, turn your back to discovery, to new adventures. Um, but I really feel like this is about balancing your energy, balancing your chakras, clearing your chakras out of anything um, that may be that just may need to be released, that may just need to be let go. It may not even be something that's so, so super serious. Sometimes we think of letting go and we're like, oh my God, letting go. <laughs> you know, releasing of something and how hard that can be sometimes, but a lot we're releasing all the time and we don't even know it. You can also release subconsciously or through your dream state, through your sleep and not even know it. So, but again, clearing those chakras, balancing that energy, bringing it back into harmony, especially before we start this kick-ass month of October. Um, next we have the two of crystals. So to me, this feels like maybe in the releasing, in the letting go, there's a decision that's going to be made, um, or maybe we're juggling. I feel like this week is going to be trying to balance the spiritual and the physical. Um, sometimes we're in the spiritual so much, we don't focus on taking care of our physical selves and our physical bodies. Um, but In juggling, I feel like we're taking steps. You know, a little step takes you to a bigger step, takes you to, you know, the great big kahuna, the big, big, big thing that we've been waiting for. So I'm saying to let something go so we can get right here where we want to be. 
um, to that space of enlightenment. Once we stop juggling and really come into balance, we're allowing for new things to come into our lives. And then we have to kind of rebalance the scales again. But this just feels like we're on a journey this week. We're going to be stepping into some new territory, stepping into some new dimensions, peeping through these little windows, these little holes um, to see what the universe, our last card, the universe, has in store for us. And this is just such a beautiful card. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. I feel like if you're struggling with juggling things, if you're struggling with making a decision, if you're struggling with is this what I'm supposed to be letting go of or this what I'm supposed to be letting go of or struggling to where you want to put that energy, where you want to focus that energy and put that chi ball, that, that, that huge ball of life force energy, where you want to put that out to connect with the universe, connect with your guides, connect with your angels, your loved ones in spirit, your ancestors, connect with the all the energy of mother earth, go outside and connect with the energy of the tree and see what the tree tells you. If you're really, really having trouble clearing your mind and listening to your own answer. Like I know for me, a lot of times if I'm struggling with something or trying to make a decision, you know, I'll pull out my tarot cards, but it's like, I can't interpret the message for myself because I'm so close to the situation. So it's like all of these different energies coming in when all I need to do is just take some time out in meditation, maybe sit outside, maybe just connect to a tree and ground myself and really then, you know, not focus on it and then come back to it later with a clear, refreshed energy, refreshed mind. Um, but we're really connecting with the all this week. It feels like a really, really powerful week um, for us. One that's full of energy you know, that's full of celebration. We may have some ups and downs and have to turn this 10 of cups up right. Remember to find support from those around you this week. Um, but it just feels, it feels beautiful. It feels like a lovely, lovely week, a big step. Um, I also feel like this is a reminder for us to know that we are connected to others, that our situations really aren't that different from anybody else. Yes, the circumstances may be different, but the general energy may be the same or the emotion may be the same. So don't block yourself from connecting with others this week. Really just be open to all the beautiful energy that will be swirling around us this week and this lovely month of October. So now I'm going to get a card for us from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Just to kind of tie up our message this week. Lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it when this happens. So exciting. Archon, Barbello, and Picture Jasper. Support. Isn't that what I just said? Find your support. <laughs> Find your support this October, this week. Um... You know, don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call a friend. Stop texting all the time. Texting, um, you know, it's a convenience. Yeah, I understand. You know, I text and everything too, but there's nothing like, you know, picking up the phone. I mean, for some of you all, I'm sure are old enough to remember, you know, going through something and picking up the phone and calling your best friend or whoever and just sitting on the phone with them, letting it out, venting for two, three, four hours on the phone. Um, really just getting that loving support from someone. I also feel like for those of you who may be struggling in a particularly difficult situation to maybe find outside help in terms of maybe going to see a counselor or a social worker or um, somebody who's an expert in that field that you're struggling with, but really, really finding support this week. The universe supports us this week. Whatever we're going through, whatever, you know, maybe on your back and you're trying to knock it off, the universe is there supporting you, but you have to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for support. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Maybe you are struggling with finding a support system. Don't be afraid to branch out and try new things to find that support system because it is so, so pertinent to us. We can't do it all alone. We can't hold everything in because that's when we explode. That's when things start to go crazy and haywire. So share your emotions with your friends this week, with your family this week, with your significant other this week, um, with anyone who, who, who will listen to you. You know, I'm not saying go like word vomiting everywhere. That's not what I mean at all. But if you're struggling with something, you know, pick up the phone and call your mom and say, hey, ma, like, 
I know I haven't talked to you about this before. I've tried handling it myself, but I just need some help. What, you know, what do I do? I just need somebody to bounce the idea off of, you know? But that is our message for this week of October 3rd through October 9th of 2016. I'm Arielle and this has been Maven on Nast. Please feel free to like and share this video or check me out on my Etsy shop, my Facebook page, or my blog. Um, I do have a new um, post up on the blog. It is called um, Awakening um, on the Journey. Um, oh, no, excuse me, Appreciation <laughs> for the Journey um, of Awakening. So please be sure to check that out and leave me a comment. I'd be happy to hear from you. Have a great one, lovelies. Bye.